Today we're going to learn about a very unlikely maximum likelihood estimator for the uniform distribution. We are going to find the MLE for the uniform distribution and find along the way why some MLEs are very unlikely. The maximum likelihood estimate is the estimate which would make the data most likely if it were true. It is not the value necessarily that we think is most likely. So suppose we have data from a uniform distribution on zero to theta. So we have data on this interval from zero to theta and all values are equally likely, but we do not know what theta is and we are trying to estimate it. We are going to find the value theta hat MLE that maximizes the likelihood function. And this is an interesting problem because most of the time when we do maximum likelihood estimation, we're using calculus, but this is a distribution where we uh, don't use calculus and we use more of an intuitive argument. The probability density function of a uniform distribution is 1 over theta from 0 to theta. Okay, so this is just a drawing of the probability density function for a uniform distribution. It is the same height everywhere. So let's suppose we observe a few data points. Okay, so all these points are above 0. We have many options for theta, but some thetas are impossible. Okay, so if this was our value of theta, then these data points here are impossible. They are not between 0 and theta. So if any points are impossible, the likelihood is zero. Similarly, if this is the value of theta, then this data point is still impossible. And again, the likelihood is zero. So theta must be at least as big as the maximum data point. The likelihood of all the data is called the joint likelihood. So the likelihood is the density at each observed point, and we multiply all of these densities by each other. Okay, so we're multiplying all these green lines. But because they are all the same in the uniform distribution, right, these are all the same height, then the maximum likelihood estimate is really just the theta, which gives us the highest density uh, in general, right, because they're all the same height. So as long as no points are impossible, we want the density function to be as high as possible. Okay, so this theta here is worse because now the density at each point is lower and thus less likely. Okay, so we see the green density here is impossible, right? Because this point over here is impossible with the green density. The yellow density is the smallest possible theta where all the observed data is possible. And the red density is worse than the yellow because now the density at each point is lower and thus less likely. The biggest data point is the maximum likelihood estimate of theta, okay? Because it finds this balance between the things that are impossible in green and the things that are less likely in red. And this is the maximum likelihood estimate of theta. It maximizes the likelihood. So our MLE is the maximum value. So under the maximum likelihood estimate, we say that the data was generated from a continuous distribution between zero and the maximum data value. But wait, that means that we happened to actually observe data that was exactly the maximum value that could have been observed under this probability distribution. And each possibility in a continuous distribution has probability zero. So this seems very unlikely. The MLE is the estimate of the parameter under which the data would be most likely. Right? This does not mean that it's the most likely parameter value. The most probable parameter is a Bayesian concept. It is not involved in finding an MLE. So we can't even talk about what it means to be the most likely parameter value. The maximum likelihood just finds the value that maximizes the likelihood. That's it. Please like and subscribe to learn more statistics.